Here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, well, the sun is shining, but it is a chilly November afternoon. Temperatures have uh, struggled to get into even the mid-40s this afternoon, and when you step outside, it doesn't feel like that with the gusty winds. We do have the sun going for us over the next couple of hours. Where skies are dry. The radar is nice and quiet. As we uh, widen out the view, still a little bit of lake effect snow up across parts of New York State. That's going to stay away from our area, and we'll be under mostly clear skies now for the rest of the afternoon and evening hours. Uh, 41 still Tiverton. How about that temperature? 43 in Coventry. It's in the low 40s in Attleboro and Socket right now at 44. 42 your temperature in Charlestown. And here are these uh, wind gusts at the last hour. 32 mile an hour gust in Smithfield. 18 mile an hour gust in Newport. And a 20, 25 mile an hour gust in Providence, New Bedford and Taunton. When you factor that into those temperatures in the 40s, it's giving us the wind chill, which is still running most areas in the 30s. In fact, it feels at the freezing mark still in Smithfield. 37 Providence is your wind chill temperature and Newport feels like 37. So at the bus stop this afternoon, brisk, chilly, and dry. Lots of sunshine, 43 to 46 for your temperatures. The satellite and radar shows quiet weather. Cold front is now well off the coastline. And that lake effect snow, again, starting to taper off most areas. Uh, we are going to keep mostly clear skies. There's an area of high pressure sitting right across uh, West Virginia to our south and west. It's going to drift to the east over the weekend. It's actually going to start to allow a shift in our, temp our wind direction rather from the uh, west-northwest to more of a southwest wind. Look what's off to our south and west. So we do have a shot of cold air over the northeast. Temperatures already starting to moderate across the plains and the Midwest. And that's going to be the air we tap into this weekend. So like we've seen so much already this month, the cold air comes in, but it's pretty short lasting. About 44 then for the high temperature in Newport today. Chilly, dry, sunny in Hope Valley. Brisk winds, mainly sunny skies, northern suburbs. A few fair weather clouds, about 44 in Johnston, 43 for your temp this afternoon in Cumberland. And we're only in the mid-40s, New Bedford, Fall River, and Seekonk. Lots of sunshine, cool, dry, and little Compton at 45. Clear for the evening commute. No showers to deal with, 40 to 45 for your temperatures heading home from work this evening. And then late night lows should drop down close to the freezing mark again. I've got us at 29 for Smithfield, 32 in Providence, Westerly at 32, 33, Groton, New Bedford, Taunton, down to the 20s. So we will see some frost overnight, but temperatures again will warm quickly under sunny skies and a breezy southwest wind Saturday, a high of 54 in the afternoon. Looking at more clouds around on Sunday, but... Pretty good shot in many areas, making it into the 60s for a high. Seven-day future cast. Another cold front comes in here Sunday night. It's a dry front, but it will cool our temperatures down for Monday. Highs only near 50. And then for your Tuesday, near 50. Some showers Wednesday. Right now, I've got Thanksgiving dry with uh, morning clouds giving way to brighter skies in the afternoon and a high of about 46 degrees. Don't forget, you can take the live Pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast, all of your breaking news and video with you. Go to WPRI.com to download our app for the iPhone or Android smartphone. So once again, you don't like the wet weather, you just got to wait a <laughs> few hours.